Hey and welcome back to another video for cloudbackuping.com. My name is Mauricio and in this video we are going to have a look at iDrive's restore process and whether iDrive restores our data that we backed up previously in another video that I really highly recommend that you watch and if everything is backed up well and flawlessly. So um, we are now having here our iDrive client and there is a restore tab and we are going to click on that to restore our data and it takes some time until iDrive has been fetching everything from our account and sees our folder structure and you have now two options you can either restore your data from within the client selecting your folder folders or even um, individual files for example when you just urgently need this video or need that photo or whatever then you can select that and can can um from within your backup so you can unselect that or reselect that there are lots of options and then um if you are not on your pc you can even restore your data from a web client and this is quite useful so let's just have a look at quickly how that is gonna work and you have to go to the iDrive homepage and log in with your credentials and in the web client, there are several features that are pretty useful. There is a search function. So you can search for a file that you need urgently. Now you're on a business trip or whatever, and you need a photo or you need a presentation. Then you can search for that file in uh, the search bar, and it's uh, going to pop up automatically right at the bottom. Or you can obviously select to download all your files when you need to do a complete restore. And with a click on restore folders, you need now to insert your encryption key. And as I said before, this is pretty important that you keep always that encryption key in a separate location because without that key, you're not gonna be able to restore your data. So everything is going to be lost if you lose your encryption key. And with a click on connect, you can now um, access your data when your browser supports Java. So you need Java and then select there your files. But we're not gonna do that right here. We're gonna restore that from within um, the client. So we're going to go back to our client and select a restore, uh, click the restore now button. And you can now select the directory where you want to uh, save your files to. And uh, we're going to select a new uh, folder here. And I would really love to have the function right from within the client to create a new folder. Other backup providers had that. iDrive, unfortunately, not. So you need this folder. Uh, you have to have that created. Uh, before uh, selecting it actually. So here we're just going to select then um, our folder where we want to uh, back up everything and click on OK. So then you are presented with a summary that you see that have one gigabyte of files that want to restore and with a click on restore it restores your files. Obviously I accelerated the video here but we're going to see in our detailed log um, how long this restore really took and I can say it really was fast it I think it has been the fastest restore I've ever had with a, an online backup provider so you can be sure that if you lost your data you are going to be recovering your data pretty fast blazingly fast almost so let's see how long that took at the bottom of the log so it took 10 minutes to download one gigabyte of files I have a fast connection I have a 16 megabit connection here at home, but anyway, this is very fast and this uh, tells me that their servers are working great. And I've tested the files that have been restored and everything works flawlessly. So I can really recommend iDrive for your backups for their, their um, software as well, because there are lots of options. You have lots of scheduling options, lots of restore options. However, if you're an inexperienced user, you might probably want to try another software because there are lots of options that could potentially um, confuse you. So we are at the end of this video. Thank you very much for watching. And I hope I really could help you, could provide you with some interesting information. And if you have a question, please do leave a comment and recommend this video to your friends and family on Facebook and YouTube. This is how you can help me most. Thank you very much and see us next time. Bye-bye.